Well, hello everybody. It's time to shave. It's Monday and we're going to be shaving with uh, a razor that was very, very kindly sent to be me by Patrick at Supply. It's the Single Edge Pro from Supply. The one with a little dial on it right there. So it, we're going to dial this in. I have not shaved with this yet. And he also sent me a box of uh, some razor blades and also the little Pro Grip sleeve. So you can stick it on there and you won't fall out of your hands. So we're going to try that out. Thank you, Patrick, again. He said, look, I wanna, I wanna know what I can do to make the supply your number one single-edge razor. And I said, I don't know, call me, we'll talk about it, we'll see. But anyway, and then we're gonna lather up, uh, because it's not, about, it's not about the soap today, but I'm gonna use space soap. Uh, I'm gonna lather up with another gifted item, this beautiful little clear shaving brush. I was trying to think of some other word to describe it. It's translucent, it's clear, it's, it looks really cool. And it's from Willie in Nebraska. Thanks again, Willie. It is a uh, synthetic brush, so that's good for me. All right, I took a shower, I did my hair. My hair is so high now, it's almost being cropped out of frame. That's just, we're gonna deal with that. All right, I'm gonna put some hot water on my face and we're just gonna get started because I didn't shave yesterday. I don't feel gross. I feel all whiskery, you know? You know that feeling? I don't know if you describe it as whiskery or not, but that's what I'm saying today. Okay, so let's take this sucker out. This is the matte finish. They uh, have matte, they have black, they have chrome, and they have one other that I can't remember. Anyway, this cost $89 US. So let's see what you get inside. I already took the blades out. The blades were underneath the razor in here. Um, whoa, and there's some pieces of paper I forgot about. Ah, ha, ha, surprise. If you want to learn more about it, there you go. Scan that QR code. <laughs> It'll take you right to my bank account. I'm kidding. I'm only kidding. Here's how to load the razor, in case you didn't know. And uh, why would you? Stop! Read this first. Yes, do. If you've never used one of these kind of injector blade razors, you need to read that first, because I messed up the first time I tried to use mine. And I think that's what Patrick saw, and he's like, dude, I gotta send you one. So here we go. We, here's the Pro, Single Edge Pro from Supply. Now, oh, is there a blade in it already? Oh, there is a blade in it already. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I'm going to change it out anyway, just because it has to start off with a blade. I think Patrick probably put that in there. He said he was going to test them out before he sent them. But let's put the little silicone Pro Grip sleeve on it, because this is a slippery razor. And if you got it, you might as well flaunt it. All right, I'm trying not to cut myself here. I wonder how far down I need to go, or how far up. Are you like that? Maybe a little farther? However you want. Hold on, let me put down the thing. Push! Get down there, yo. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm doing. That's as far as it's going. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Oh, this looks like Star Trek, uh, you know, the next generation. Like old Data and Worf are going to be. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I know. I'm normally a Star Wars nerd. All right. So here's how you no load one of these. Now, you may be familiar with this weirdly shaped thing that I saw as a kid and never understood what the heck it was. So there's a little slot here that you just put this in. It's like a key. This is this kind of thing. Think of it as a key. So you put that in there, and you know it's in there when it looks like this. And then you pull this little sucker back, and the blades are in there getting ready. See the blade getting ready? And then what you do is, let's try this backwards so you guys can see. Let me put the, put the guide down, and we'll look at the guide. All right. You just push this through like that, and then the other old blade pops out. Hold on, hold on. Oh, dang it. I've done it again, folks. Ay, ay, ay. I am, why am I such an idiot when it comes to loading these things? Okay, I'm going to take this one out because that's the one that was in there. It's, I, I did something wrong again. Dang it. Patrick, don't send me another one. I told you it was user error. So anyway, now it's trying to put this second one in. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on, pause, pause. Let me set this up. I'll be right back. Okay, let's do this again because I this thing was messing up. This thing went above the blade and didn't push it all the way through. Let's do this one more time and I'm gonna do it so I can see it, so I can take control of it. Okay, so I've got the blade in there. There's a brand new blade in there. Pull this thing back and then you push forward. And it'll push the old blade out and push the new blade in. There we go. See, just like that. It was not the razor's fault. It was this plastic 
loaders thing fall because it would start to push it in and then it would lose its grip on the blade and then go forward and the blade would just be halfway out of there. So, I don't know, little user error, a little bit of the uh, that plastic thing was all wrong. All right, now, unfortunately, I had to waste a blade. Now I've got the one that was in there, the one that came out halfway, and the one that's loaded. And I'm gonna put them all over here. Here's what you do with the old ones. You put it in the back end of this doohickey. That's a technical term, folks. And try not to cut yourself. Be very careful, these are extremely sharp. There we go, in the blade bank, built-in blade bank. Now I'm gonna make sure that this thing is straight. It seems to be straight there. Now let's talk about the dial. Now I've not shaved with this, so I don't know how it, uh, how aggressive it is, how mild it is, what I'm gonna like. So you can go from six, which is right there, and this little thing moves up and down. See this bar? That goes up and down to, to reveal more or less blade. You got pretty much, there's a big gap there. So if we dial it up down to one, see how it, could you see that it, that it kind of closed that little gap? I think so. So we're gonna start on a six, just because. Just because, I'm not afraid, I ain't a skirt. Let's try it, shall we? All right, put some hot water on my face. I did take a shower, as I said. Always important to prep your beard and get it a little bit soft, just make it easier on yourself, you know? You don't have to work so hard. Work smarter, not harder. You ever heard that? You ever heard your old dad say that? Well, I'm an old dad saying it right now. There's some dumb old sayings that you hear all the time because they're not dumb. All right. Man, this stuff lathers well. God, I wish Bob would make some more of this space soap. Bobby, love you. Make some more space soap. I know more people want it. It's an excellent, excellent product. But I also understand they need to take time off. And that's totally cool. Do what you got to do. All right. Oh. This is the afterburner one that he sent me with a little bit of extra menthol in it. Not too much. This man is so good. All right. God, I'm just flinging stuff everywhere. Get that stuff off the bottom, put it back on top. Get it ready for the next one. All right. Let me wash off my whole body now that I just have an inch of shaving cream all over my entirety. I'm sorry. I'm, I got a bad habit of cleaning up as I go. Good habit, bad habit. So I apologize. All right. On six, the Supply Pro. Here we go. Now this one, like with the original supply, you just kind of stick that against your face and let it take care. This part should be sitting against your cheek like this. And then you go straight down, all right? So it's not really an angle thing like normal straight ra or uh, safety razors. And you can feel when it's grabbing those hairs that you got it right. And you can kind of tell, ooh. Six, it's not feeling too aggressive. It's not feeling too aggressive. Yeah, it's doing all right. So what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dial it down with each little segment of my face. <laughs> segment? Do I have facial segments? I don't know. That sounds like it's gross. Sounds like I have an affliction. Oh yes, he suffers from facial segments. Okay, so there's six. That's very smooth. Still go for a second one, that's what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna dial it down, and you don't have to do whole numbers on this. You can do six, and then take just a little bit away, and not even go all the way to five. So you can like, there's all these little tiny, you know, incremental uh, adjustments you can make. But I'm gonna go for, try to get as close to five being the most visible, and just see how it feels, like this. It's funny, on my right cheek, I don't go all the way down like I do on the left. I kind of go across the top and then I, it's weird. This is facial segmenting, it's what we gotta do. Please, won't you donate to the Facial Segmenting Association of America? Ooh, this, that space soap smells so good. I do like these supply razors because of how you have to shave with them. Putting this, like, you know, it's a, almost like quarter inch of metal like against your face, it feels kind of good. It's like a nice smooth, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so there was five. I can tell there's a little bit less taken off over here, but it's still such a small increment, you know, I'm probably fooling myself. All right, let's go to four. We're counting down, folks. By the time we get to one, I'm just, we'll see. So this razor feels like it shouldn't do a good job getting under your nose. 
because the head feels, you know, fairly thick head on it. Kind of like a good glass of beer, but it does pretty good. I mean, I do, I will, like all my other razors, have to go sideways to get right underneath the nostrils. But yeah, works fine. All right, I'm gonna do this again on four, just because this is, this is one segment. Facial segmentation strikes one in 10 at Americans. Please, won't you give today? Yeah, this, is, this feels good. Now, I'm trying to remember, it's been a little while since I used the, the, the normal single edge supply, the SE, obviously for single edge, but uh, I think I'm preferring the feel of this one. That one has little ridged, um, you know, like guides, and this one doesn't. I don't know. You know what I need to do, and I will eventually, put this one up against the SE, so the pro against the kind of the normal model. All right, let's go down to the neck, and we'll go with three. Three? Yeah, got a three on there. All right. Yeah, very, it has never felt aggressive. Not even at six. And three, I can tell the blade gap is half of what it was. And I kind of want to put it back up. And I think I will with the next go around. I'm going to do half my face. Or half my neck with the three. And then let's just see. Let's go down to two and do the other half. Why not? That's what we're here for, right? Just trying to have a little fun, folks. That's all. I'm washing off fairly regularly because it, it is a single uh, you know, razor blade. Normally with a double edge, you do that and then you flip it over and then you got the other side. But duh, obviously. <laughs> I feel like I uh, am Mr. Obvious. Well, I ran out of segments before I ran out of settings. Oh, we got one more after that. All right, so let's go. Let, let me let me rinse off and let me give it, give it a feel. Oh yeah, I could definitely tell a difference. Yeah, there's way more here on the five than on the six, uh, but neither of them felt aggressive. Um, I didn't get a lot of that blade feel that I sometimes experience. Down here, yeah. Got a lot more to do. So, let's do it. Second pass. Here we go again. Oh, this is a, a sorry, this is a Razor Rock. Uh, I've got three more down here that I'm gonna use Ooh, in the next few videos that Willie sent. Um, and I've got the money one too. Where did I put that money one? There's a Wolf Whiskers one that has money in it. Okay, let's lather up. Did I put any water on my face that second time? I can't remember now. Shucks. I just get, you know, I just get talking. And I lose track of what the heck I've done. One time, I'm just going to not even forget to shave. I was going to lather up and then just wash it off and lather up again, wash it off. Okay, so uh, let's talk about prices again. These are $8 and you can get them anywhere. You don't have to buy it from supply. You can buy these anywhere online. Uh, the Pro Grip sleeve is 6 bucks, and the razor itself is $89. Now I'm gonna dial this sucker back up to five. I'm gonna go with five this time. And we're gonna just keep it at five, go across the grain, uh, like a lot of smart shavers do with uh, adjustable razors. They start off at an aggressive setting and then they slowly dial it down. I don't like to do that. I like to kind of keep the same tool, but ooh, I can feel it. I can feel it getting the whiskers that it missed. Uh, just on the downward path. That's always a satisfying feeling. So I like that. And this is, uh, it's a heavy razor, but it's not really heavy. It feels good. It feels right. And, uh, you know, when I first saw that he had, uh, that Patrick had sent uh, the little silicone sleeve, I was like, well, I don't know about that. Do you really need something like that? And no, of course not. But it does help, and it does look cool. I think it does add a little bit of, it really does look like a prop from Star Trek The Next Generation or one of those Deep Space Nine ones. Mr. LaForge. Sorry, like I said, I am more of a Star Wars guy, but if you're a nerd of any stripe, you're gonna like Star Trek too. Any version of Star Trek, you know, there's some I don't even know. I, I prefer the original series. 
You hear that? You know, when I first tried Supply, I didn't like it. I mean, it was fine, but I didn't like it. But I like in this one. And it's not because Patrick sent them to me for free. I don't want you to think that. Because I always have to be honest and straightforward. No matter where I uh, 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 acquired the razor. But I do like it. I do think that this would be a good choice if you want to leave cartridge razors behind, you know, like the Mach 3s and all that. The only thing I don't like is that you have to buy that sort of blade. Even though it is easy to find, I think you can find just normal double-edge safety razor blades more readily. But maybe not where you are. Maybe they got this kind of... Uh, you know, single edge blades everywhere, but uh, that's the only, that and the loading of it, obviously since I've had problems with it, uh, and I, you know, I like to consider myself a fairly experienced shaver, even though I haven't had almost any experience with loading razors like this, so with time, I'm sure I could get it. But that, the little plastic on this, that was not great because it didn't push out the blade very well. I don't think Supply makes these. I think they get these from Japan. So I would prefer a more hefty, like a metal thing. And I think I've seen shit injector blades that are metal because that failed me when I was trying to load this. It wasn't the razor. I had to turn off the camera for a while and figure out how do I do this? And uh, that's what it was. And then when I tried it again, thing, same thing slipped. Anyway, all right, second pass, put some water on. Okay, got a lot down here we need to take care of, but up here it's been really good. Still got some I'd like to get rid of. And this is way closer than this, probably because I used six on this one and then five, you know. So let's hmm, keep it on five. Let's keep it on. Five is my favorite number for some reason. I don't know why. Lather up and put a little bit more water, dip it. Because, you know, the little brush will start to dry out. Dip it there in the water next to your easel. You Bob Ross fans out there. Okay. Woo. I still remember when I first started using a brush because I'd never used one. It felt wrong. It felt weird, but now I love it. Weird. You know, I do like this silicone grip because I just, I am now gripping it just by this. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to order one of these... Chip in the extra six bucks and get one of those. They should probably uh, include them. Especially if you, buy, if you buy the pro model, you know. But, you know, who am I? It's not my company. But thanks again to uh, Patrick and everybody over there at Supply for sending me all this stuff. They seem to have liked my videos. So that's good, even though, you know. I'm not 100%, 100%. I'm not going to get rid of all my, you know, other razors and only use this one exclusively. But, um, I would like to give one of these away. I, you know, I have three now. I give one away to Jeff. Jeff still hasn't contacted me. Jeff, bag it. You won. You won if you're watching this. I contacted him uh, through his YouTube channel and then commented on one of his comments, but I haven't heard from him. Email me. SinatraLennon at gmail.com. Anyway, I want to give away, I want to give away that one to Jeff, and then I got the second one to give away after I try it out, and then I'll probably hold on to this one. <laughs> but uh, that was weird. I don't know. I don't know what that was. But this is, uh, as you can tell, I'm just kind of effortlessly gliding over my face. This is about how many times have I used? This might be the fourth time I've used one of the supply razors. And it's becoming like when I first tried it, you know, I had to get the, uh, the angle right, but now I feel like I'm just kind of flying around my face, which is cool. You know, you always feel better when you have some sort of proficiency with your tools, you know? You know, I, d <laughs> I should have known all this stuff, but you know, I'm just a normal guy who somehow ended up with this shaving channel, right? Talking about razors, so I don't go into, I don't spend a ton of time learning about all the new uh, developments in the shaving community. So I didn't know that this was a Shark Tank thing. 
Like he actually, he and his wife, Patrick and his wife had to go on to Shark Tank and get this thing approved. So, and it's made here in Texas. So good old Texas product. I think up there in Fort Worth. Next time I visit my father in that area, I'll drop by the factory and say hi. Go out and go to the Fort Worth stockyards. All right, here we go. Getting the problem areas. The last little bit. I did have one little nick that was wanting to do something, but I don't see it now. All right, let's wash off and feel. See if I need to go over the problem areas again. Yeah, I'm gonna go over this one. But I'm not even thinking about blade angle or anything right now. I'm just putting the, the razor head against my skin and just going. I like this. It's a good razor. 89 bucks. It's not cheap, but this thing's built like a tank. It's, it's all metal, except for the little silicone sleeve I put on it. Uh, it's solid. It looks good. And I like the fact that you can dial it in. I always prefer an adjustable razor. Kind of like the, you know, the fat boys. They had that idea back then. This is a different way of doing it. Actually, this is probably a little bit better because you can adjust it without, you know, with this one, you need to do this. <laughs> open it up to adjust it, but not with this one. Oops, let me just tighten that back down because there is a blade in there that I will use later. So the Supply Pro, 89 bucks. It's good if you like the su Supply single edge itself and you're in the market for an adjustable version of that, go for it. And I it, get the silicone thing. I think it does add a little bit. I was a little bit like, mm, kind of silly, but six bucks, ah, sh they should throw it in. That's my, that's my opinion. I could be wrong. All right, wash off, dry off, clean up, put on the aftershave, and do all that. But I want to say thanks again to Patrick for sending me these fine razors. And uh, <laughs> I feel bad about the uh, the injector, you know, thing at the beginning. But I don't. It wasn't the razor's fault. It was my fault, and that cheap kind of plastic injector. So you might want to look into that. That would be a suggestion of mine. Get a better, make sure that the mechanism works because you don't want that to be the first experience of a user. You know, they'll get a bad idea about your razor. All right, here is the Terror Ooh. mentholated, the aftershave that keeps on giving. I'm not kidding. Later on in the day, four hours from now, if I touch my face and then rub my eye for whatever reason, it's gonna get mentholated. So there's something about this stuff. It doesn't just go away. That's kind of what I like about it. It keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Barrister and Man Terror. And I think they just recently found the, the sister ship uh, at the bottom of the ocean from that uh, failed, was it Arctic or Antarctic? I think it was Arctic journey. Anyway, thanks again, Willie, for this. Thanks, Patrick, and everyone over there at Supply for this. Two grades ago. <laughs> anyway, and thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I uh, hope this was informative or entertaining or something that would fill your day with something uh, uh, slightly positive, hopefully. We'll see. Anyway, have a great week, everybody. Please leave a comment, and uh, that's it. I'll see you all very soon. Happy shaving. Have a good week. Bye. Did I say have a good week? Oh, yeah.